In the black water beneath Mexico City's bright boats, a ghost drifts between reeds. It can regrow a leg, even repair its spine. Yet today, it struggles just to survive. A creature designed for healing is running out of safe places to breathe. Centuries ago, the Valley of Mexico was a mosaic of lakes threaded with causeways and canals. The Mexica-shaped floating farms, chinampas, woven from mud and reeds and anchored with ahuejote trees. Most lakes are gone, drained and paved as the city rose. What remains is a remnant. The canals of Xochimilco. Here, human engineering once worked with water. Today, the balance is fragile. Meet the axolotl, Ambistoma mexicanum. Unlike other salamanders, it keeps its feathery gills and larval body for life, a condition called neoteny. And the superpower is real. Limbs, spinal cord, even parts of the heart and brain can regenerate. Its genome is enormous, and labs around the world use it as a living blueprint for repair. This is an animal whose biology has taught us to imagine healing differently. Unlike most salamanders, the axolotl never completes metamorphosis in the wild. It keeps its gills and aquatic body for life. Underwater, the legs are passengers. Its long, finned tail is the engine driving smooth S-waves through the water. Watch the limbs tuck close while the tail does the work. That's the signature axolotl glide. But in the wild, the story is darker. In 1998, surveys found around 6,000 axolotls per square kilometre in Xochimilco. By 2014, that number had collapsed to just 36. Today, biologists talk in densities and detections, not exact counts, because the animals are so rare. Pollution, shrinking habitat and invasive carp and tilapia now haunt the canals that once sheltered it. The axolotl is officially, critically endangered, and the trend is still downward. Look closer. Untreated runoff and leaky sewage lines cloud the water. Agrochemicals seep from fields. Dredging and construction press against the fragile canal edges, and party boats churn wakes through the reeds. Even a UNESCO-protected landscape can buckle when the water itself is sick and the hydrology is altered. When a city grows around the wetland, every decision upstream is felt downstream. Yet hope is being built from tradition. Farmers and scientists carve side channel Chinampa refuges, guarded by biofilters of volcanic rock and reeds. Inside, water runs clearer, invasive fish are kept out, and axolotls can feed, hide, and breed. These refuges string together like beads along the canal network each one a small promise of recovery. Environmental DNA 
is tiny fragments of genetic material shed by animals. From skin cells, mucus, eggs, even waste that drift through the water. Scientists filter a bottle of canal water, extract the DNA from the filter and test it to see if axolotl traces are there. It's a non-invasive way to map where life still hangs on. And in Xochimilco, those traces are appearing mostly inside protected refuges. Proof that design matters. If you're drawn to stories of Earth's rarest creatures, and the people fighting to save them, please subscribe to Wild Wisdom. One click helps us keep making films that turn attention into action. With cleaner pockets of habitat, teams tried something bold. Release captive bred axolotls into a restored Shinampa and an artificial wetland. They survived and moved. Some females travelled farther than expected, tracing safe corridors through the reeds. Telemetry pings and careful recaptures told a simple story, showing that prepared refuges can hold life again. When habitat is right, behaviour looks natural. Those regrowth tricks aren't just a curiosity. By studying how axolotls repair spinal cords and heart tissue, researchers search for clues that could guide future medicine, from wound healing to nerve repair. Protecting the axolotl protects a living library that scientists are still learning to read. Saving a miracle means fixing the water. Along canal edges, conservation crews stack volcanic rock and plant reeds, building filters that keep pollutants and invasive fish out. Each new refuge becomes a safe pocket of life. Scale that up across neighbourhoods and the canal network begins to breathe again. But success also depends on people. Removing invasive carp and tilapia supporting farmers who keep Chinampa's pesticide free, and funding the eDNA surveys that guide every step. Together, these efforts can turn a city from threat into ally. When communities benefit from clean water, conservation has roots. The axolotl isn't just a meme or a mascot, it's a teacher. If we lose Xochimilco, we lose both a species and a library of solutions written in living tissue. We also lose a chapter of Mexico City's identity. A relationship with water that shaped a civilization. If this story moved you, Support community-run Chinampa refuges, back invasive fish removal projects, and choose produce from farms keeping canals pesticide-free. Small choices upstream keep clean water flowing downstream. Share this video and help fund the teams restoring the canal's living edges. If a city can break a miracle, a city can rebuild one. Support the crews restoring canals, the scientists reading the water's DNA, and the farmers tending living islands. The axolotl has shown us how to heal. Now it's our turn.